Let's send things back over to Alexis Walter. She's in Lindhurst this morning with her weather school. Morning, Jen. We are live once again here at Sunview Elementary School. I am in the first grade class, and we decided that we were going to do some coloring today. So I have started with spring. We've got all four seasons on the board. The students got to choose which of the seasons their favorite is, and that's the one that they have started. We've learned a little bit about, you know, temperatures turning cooler. We learned what temperature things start to freeze at. And oh, let's see, take a look at this one. We've got lots of different fall colors there on the leaves. Now, my friend Ezra here was telling me about his favorite season and which picture you decided to color first. Which one did you color first? Winter. Winter. Now, why did you choose winter? Is that your favorite season? Yes. Why is it your favorite season? What do you like to do in the winter? I I like to make snow angels and make snowmen. Snowmen, and you have a snowman right there on your picture, right? And did you give him a name? Yes. What's his name? Snowy. Snowy the snowman. And, of course, that's when temperatures get real freezing, down to about 32, we learned. And I also have my friend Seven here. She was teaching me about her favorite season, which is? Summer. Summer. And she's got her little guy hanging out in the pool there. He's in an inner tube. And you are telling me some of the stuff that you like to do during summer. What is that? Go to the pool. Like to go to the pool, yeah. What color did you decide to do the sun? Red. Red? Because it's is it really hot outside? Yeah. Yeah, lots of heat outside. So what we've learned today is that, you know, we're entering this new change of seasons. We've been checking out the leaves outside that are starting to turn nice and red and yellow and orange. But we weren't just talking about the seasons. We also learned a little bit about Puffy the Cloud that couldn't rain. So we read this book just a couple of minutes ago. And Lola was telling me what she learned from this book. So the book Puffy the Cloud that couldn't rain teaches us about different types of clouds and what they do. And Puffy, do you remember what type of cloud Puffy was? A cumulus cloud. A cumulus cloud. And then we we're also, uh, there were a couple of other types of clouds in the book as well, an anvil cloud. And what type of weather does an anvil cloud bring? Uh, um, storm cloud. Storms. And then we also learned about a nimbus cloud that, that rains. And so, Today, the students have got to, you know, learn a little bit about different clouds, different types of weather, and they also got to get help give me, me give the eight-day forecast with our weather graphics. And they learned so much, but they also knew so much already about the weather. They've started to learn about warm and cool temperatures and also how to dress for certain weather, which, of course, we know they need to do this coming uh, week or so as temperatures are going to be fluctuating quite a bit. So I just want to give you guys a big a round of applause and a big thank you. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. You guys did great today. You really helped me out telling the weather forecast. Did you have some fun? Yeah. Oh, yes, they did. <laughs> guys. Well oh, done, so class. Cute. Yes, very nice. And well done, wow. Miss Walters. Yes, Miss Walters. I had never read this book before. It was super great. It's adorable. Right? I know. I love it. That's, that's really See, cool. See, you're all learning today. That's right. <laughs> Lexi, Thanks, Liz. Thank you.